So let's go back to tip number 11. So within generative design, we talked about this at the beginning. The real value is not just comparing across only performance, but it's also across comparing cost as well. So comparing the full cost versus performance for each one of those generative outputs. So what, so what it really does is it provides you an estimate on the real manufacturing cost for each. And what you need to keep in mind is that not every material is linked with the manufacturing process for costing yet. And there's some that will actually never link. So you could imagine if you wanted to generate a part with stone and with a casting manufacturing process, that's never really been done before and there's no information and it's actually impossible. So there would be no way to actually come up with how much that part would actually be to cost. So when setting up a generative design solve, there's a couple things we can do to make sure that our materials and our manufacturing types are mapped correctly. Now, the way to do that would be within our pre-check. So we talked a little bit about the preview that was running a local course approximation. The pre-check is also done before the solve, and this will tell you if all of your manufacturing and your material types are linked correctly. So if I go back to one of our generative solves that has, again, just to show them, a range of materials. So here we have 6061 aluminum, TIE 64, stainless steel 316, and a few others. And we have all of these different manufacturing processes. When I go to that pre-check, it will tell us which ones are mapped and which ones are not. So for instance, if you see at the top, aluminum 6061 is not supported for additive manufacturing. We don't have costing information for 6061 for additive. Whereas with aluminum alloys, which is the specific one we picked here, we do have costing for additive, but for this one, we don't have it for milling and two axis cutting. So again, just a point, if you're very much interested in costing analysis, Make sure that you're looking at that pre-check to see if the material that you've selected is actually mapped to a specific costing process.